there's um, um, a woman, um, I, it, she, she was originally from France, but she uh, uh, ended up in India and she became a student of Sri Aurobindo. And together they, um, they brought the divine essence of the creative source into the earth. And so she just became known as the mother and she had many teachings and um, blessings. But the, the card that I selected today was satisfaction. And it goes with what we were, what Erica, what you were talking about, but satisfaction says this satisfaction, my dear child, if you are not satisfied with what you are, Take advantage of the divine's help and change. Submit to your destiny and be quiet. The cure for all difficulties can come only when the egotistic concentration upon one's desires and conveniences ceases. With my love and blessings. So I think what happens is we're never satisfied, but we're never satisfied based on what the ego wants. And the ego wants uh, the fancy car, the fancy house, and wants all the money, and wants people to believe what you believe. And so the ego goes on and on. But sometimes we need to take a step back and be in that stillness and listen to what the divine, to what our soul has to say. Because our soul is part of the divine essence. And so as we pull back and we listen, then we see what our destiny is. And so, you know, so many times we see, like you said, Erica, all these people with all these ideas and all these things that they think, but they're so busy thinking a million miles ahead of it that they don't stop and step back and be in their own essence and ask what is their divine what is their soul's will? What's their soul's purpose? And I think with all of these planets in retrograde, coming into a second full moon, it is about our intuition, but it's actually getting to know who we really are. And we need to take the time to be and, and be satisfied with what we have right now. Because if we're thinking about what we're going to do and we're going to do this tomorrow and all that we're living we're not living in our timeline we're living we're living for another timeline because all we really have is what's we're in the present moment and so taking the time to just reflect on that reflect on on all of you know all the planetary systems that are coming into this this season we, yeah we're, everything is loaded but it's a time to just sit into our own spirit and and feel what it is that we are here to accomplish and instead of worrying about all the other stuff that really has no bearing on things and yes we can talk about the elections we can talk about the new world order we can talk about all that um and it's, there's nothing wrong with with doing that but the thing is is what are you doing right now to move yourself onto that highest timeline onto your highest path you hit a bunch of words in there as soon as you pulled that card out with satisfaction my first thought was this don't give people the satisfaction because when someone comes at you with the lame talk, it's like, that's it. They want to engage you and you don't have to give people or the spirits the satisfaction of being um, offended, of being um, having to defend yourself, having to prove yourself, having to prove that you're right, having to prove what you know. And um, a part of the thing that I was releasing last night was the thought, idea, or feeling that I have to prove my worth, intelligence, or value. So not giving people the satisfaction, that was the first thing. Then the, when you talk about the ego, the next thing is this, um, 
your ego wants to argue with people because it wants to be right. And your ego wants to be heard and you want, and it wants to prove that it knows what it's talking about. And it wants to say, ha ha, I got the last word, you know, I shut that down. And, um, the ego, when I think about it, you, you want to prove your identity because you're, you're attached to whatever the ideas are that you believe that you are right. Could be possible. We're all wrong. You and the person that you're arguing with can both be wrong, right? But, but it wants to be heard and it has this thing of self-importance where is this really important? Not that you, so it's not the idea necessarily that your goals aren't correct, but the idea that you have to get others to follow you or prove yourself or believe them to believe what you believe when you can just move on and not be attached to the idea of making people follow you, believe you, think what you think, or know that you're right or prove that you're right. And that, that, that was a part of that card to me that I, I see. And you pulled more than one card? No, I, that was the one I, what I pulled was, was satisfaction. And, and, you know, if you're not satisfied with what you are, take advantage of the divine's help and change. Submit to your destiny and be quiet. Quiet. Sometimes it sounds have- like a summary of what we <laughs> even the thing said cure and we were talking about ivermectin. <laughs> like- submit submit to the to the destiny. To whatever your destiny is, you know. We we try to stay ahead of ourselves and think we think things through and we're we're constantly caught up in that mental field and some sometimes we just need to pull back, center ourselves, go into the heart and just think from that heart space instead of from the mind because the mind is going to be all over the place and the mind is not is not um is not centered the mind is is flipping off everywhere but if we go into the heart i think the ego will approach even when it comes to those things like we have these grandiose ideas like we were going to do this this plan so i think this is also what you're saying too right is that those some of those plans that we had on the table go look and evaluate like okay i'm not attached to that anymore okay i don't have to be in that group i don't have to build this i don't have to work on this particular project and sometimes just know like this isn't for me like a book thing project came up and it was like i would love to be in a book but actually just calm down you'll be fine if you're not in that particular book or that particular project then it'll go on without you the idea that something can happen without you i think that's a big part of checking your ego because sometimes even at your job you want to do everything and you're running around doing everything because you feel like well so-and-so can't do it right you might be with your spouse and be like well if i don't do it then he ain't gonna do it or she ain't gonna do it And you got the ego that you're the only one that can do it and you got the right way to do it and you're the only answer to the problem. And I used to tell people at my job, I was like, if you die tomorrow, they're going to just hire somebody else and and they'll walk right over your little body and be like, let's give a moment of silence. Like, don't think that you're the end all be all. And then too, my mom used to say to my dad, she used to to say, well, who else is going to take care of you? And and I was thinking to myself, plenty of women would probably step on the plate, you know? (laughs) I don't, don't think you're the only one. So there's probably just like so many scenarios where you feel like it's you are the most important cog in the wheel. And it's like, we have to to value ourselves, but then also take a step back and understand like, oh, you're just a speck in the whole cog and it's not that. So I'll shut up so that people can get readings, but that was the synopsis for the I'm picking another card from this deck as well uh, because I just because it's such a feminine energy we are in the second full moon which is very feminine so um, just another um, card is divine help so and this one just says my dear child my help is always with you and get rid of the confusion and if you keep quiet, you will feel it with my love and blessings. 
So that's just <laughs> just to reiterate what we said before is that the divine help whether we want to call it the divine, whether we call it our higher self, it's that connection to that source. Um, if, we, if we're confused, just sit for a moment, go into your heart. Uh, going into the heart can, you know, how do you do, just tap at your heart? When you tap it, you're bringing your awareness there. And just sit in there and just ask, say, I'm confused, can I get some clarity? And you will be surprised at, if you're open to it, your intuition will say, had you thought about doing this, or maybe you need to go out and connect with nature, or maybe you need to go and clean a closet out. Those things are, are, are propel us to do something. And in the state of doing something, then we can receive information because we're not concentrating on that specific question we're now working on constant and all of a sudden a solution is going to come and that oh i hadn't thought about it and the other thing i just want to say is some things we may be confused about something and we can't get the clarity and then out of nowhere you will get clarity for something and say oh my gosh this is what it was and that happened to me today i had a, an incident that happened several months ago and i just i couldn't understand where it was coming from this morning i was laying in bed thinking i should get up right away and i had this thought come over me and the clarity from that situation was like overwhelming but I didn't have all the pieces to that puzzle. So therefore I couldn't understand the, I couldn't understand what I didn't understand because, but I received some pieces just the other day and now it all came together. And so that situation, I can now view it from a different, from a different standpoint because I have other information. So sometimes we may be over anxious to get, um, a solution to something that we haven't got all the information so when we receive the information we become it becomes clearer um, so just allow yourself that time to just um, receive to receive the information is there to help us and that's all I'm going to say And that is recorded. I don't know if anybody wanted to add to the recording for prosperity. Five, four, three, two, one. The chevrons are closing and I will end the recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay.